it, and I'm asked this individually to every single person here that's on the table, not you, Pete. Um, bonus vote, if you can say, answer this question in one word, but in certainly a sentence, what's your favourite thing about living in or coming from Sweden? <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, well, let me this way yes. round, so you okay. then build. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because people, people often challenge me about why I like to stick up for Swindon. I have to say, it's the friendliest town I've ever been. I mean, I've lived, I've lived here for 20 years, but I haven't lived in other towns before. And everywhere else, there's a little bit of, oh, you're not from around here. But people who arrive in Swindon, they're welcome from the first day they arrive. You know, that if, if you're committed to Swindon and you like living here, then everybody in Swindon welcomes you. And I think that's a fantastic asset and it makes us a brilliant town. Did you meet me when you arrived there, did you? Bill, um, a sentence. Yeah, um, the railway and the surrounding countryside. It's done. Yeah, that was a hard question. I mean, I was, I was born That's in... a sentence. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Swindon, so I feel proud of Swindon. That's the only way I stick up for it. I mean, never actually when you go to college, it's the one thing you always fight for, isn't it? You're actually in your hometown. I've never lost that edge. I've always believed in Swindon. I want to make it a better place. And I want to be very happy to live here. I've brought my family here, and I thought we'd we'll actually continue here. In fact, my wife actually was, in a, was a country girl, but um, I've modified her. Um, and now she actually does enjoy living in the town centre. But obviously, it's a town centre, and she has a lot of treasures. But what we have to do is make people aware of some of actually our great things in Swindon, actually, whether it's actually our parks, our people, and lots of other assets, our heritage, our culture. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a, a town proud to, be, proud to be part of. Um, I've lived in Swindon since I was four, and I can't think why I'd want to move to a town with uh, less problems or better facilities when I can solve the problems and create better facilities here. Emma? Well, under Nick Ryan, but I was just going to think more to see what you say, just the people, and um, Swindon people. So I'll also go, just go for um, sort of the a cheap laugh to say football team, and it's not. <laughs> 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 uh, for Swindon, for us, uh, especially for our family, we, we came from Northern Ireland. We, we, in 1969, we had to leave quite quickly because we lived in the, the centre of Derry, and uh, my father was English ex army, my mother was Northern Irish Catholic, and it was a very difficult place to be. And uh, we came to Swindon, it welcomed us with open arms, it housed us. Uh, gave uh, my father employment, schooled us, and now I'm, you know, bring out my own children here, I've got no intention to leave it. It's a fantastic place. Thank you. That was the question I wanted you to ask, because you had actually written that almost down. <laughs> <laughs> I was just offering a, a bonus vote, you could go to one word. Brilliant. Lardy cake. <laughs> <laughs>